Okay, today we're going to look at the Ruko 1601 AMP. It's an amphibious RC car. It's a one-tenth scale. It's uh, a monster truck. It's for boys. It's four-wheel drive, off-road, all-terrain vehicle. It comes with two rechargeable batteries. It will last for 50 minutes. So let me go ahead and start opening this thing up this is a big big truck as you can tell right here it tells how the controller works it's basically pretty simple uh, move forward move back here's a power on and off switch there's a led light lets you know if it's on or off and to turn right or left uh, let's see it's like i said one tenth scale it's waterproof rated up to ip6 uh it says this car has no problems flipping over in the water it will be totally fine has 360 rotation, front and rear headlights, high performance, all-terrain, waterproof controller. Wow. And, of course, like I said, it's waterproof. So we're going to open it up, see what's in here, and go from there. Uh, I just want to thank uh, Ruko for sending this out to me. I really appreciate it. This is like the third review I've done for them. Uh in the past, I think past year. I feel like they have a pretty good quality product. Like I said, this is for uh, ages, uh, I think three and up. Okay, here's the, uh, the user's manual. Pretty simple. It just says take the uh, battery out of the top of the car here. It talks about how I always have supervision. It says don't run it underwater, which I think this thing floats. And it shows how to charge the battery, put the battery in, tells all the different components. Tells how to make it spin. This thing actually operates kind of like a tank. In other words, the front wheel tires will not turn it's more like tracks on a tank i think it's called proportional steering so and here's a card for after sales service if you have any problems i don't know if you can see that but if you have any problems with them just reach out to them and I'm sure they'll be more than happy to help you this car is available on amazon and there it is, the unrestricted Ruko Explorer. So we're going to open it up. Let's go ahead and open it up. It looks like it's packaged well. truck off the side now let's get the uh the remote here's the remote right four here's the remote like i said on and off forward and backwards left and right it comes with a belt clip which is cool you take these screws out and it takes three no i think two two double a's yeah two double a's so now we're going to take a look at the truck. Here's the truck, Ruko Unrestricted. These are hard tires. They look like they would uh, float. You can see the big, big grill on the front. There's the headlights, his front and rear headlights. Tail lights. I guess it'll maybe do wheelies. It's got kind of a bar on there. So right now we're gonna take this screw out and uh, see if the batteries are in there. If they are, we're gonna to try to get them charged up and see what they do. Okay, so we'll just take this Phillips head screw out of the back, back here. Just like that, lift up on it. It's got these tabs you can turn and the door, and that's where your battery will go. Your charger and your battery will be located 
your charger and your battery will be located in the bottom of your box right here. I didn't realize that. I opened it, but it will be right here in the box. Yeah, you can see it. So here's the charger and I believe the two included batteries. Yeah, two included batteries. Sweet. And these looks like they're 7.4 volts with 850 milliamps. So that's two cell. And it comes with two chargers, so you don't have to wait. And it also comes with a screwdriver to take that screw loose. So that's awesome. All right, now let's uh, get it in the car, power it up, and then we'll take it outside and run it in a little bit. As I was putting the battery, getting the battery out, putting it in, as you notice, uh, it is caulked real good down in there. That's a real good adhesive. That's just to keep water from getting inside the electronics. And you don't see stuff like this a lot of times with this quality of an RC car, but it's actually got Velcro on the side to actually hold, hold the battery in place, which is awesome. And then you just plug it up like so. And as you can see, the lights are flashing. Usually when the lights are flashing, that, that means that the receiver don't have any batteries in it. It's not making a connection. So we'll just take these screws off here. Yeah, and we'll go in the house and get some batteries. Okay, we're back with some batteries. Uh, as I took the battery cover off, I noticed that there's a silicone gasket in here, which is pretty awesome. Like I said, Ruko Ruko makes some awesome quality products, and that's why I'm more than happy to review their products. I review, reviewed, uh, I think, the 1601 drift car, and I've re reviewed one of their drones, and both of them was top notch I really uh, thought it was good quality you know you look at what you pay for something I got that backwards you look at what you pay for something and then you look at what you're getting and I like it to be uh, pretty close to what I think my dollars worth and there we go. And when we turn this remote on, them lights should stop blinking on the front of the car. And they did. That lets you know you got a good connection. As you can see, left, right, left, right, forward. Whoa! I'm going to run Sam off the table and reverse. We'll put the top on this thing and take it outside and test it out. So the battery compartment. Just push these little flanges back across and you got a sealed compartment. Then you take your top, put it in there, tighten up the little screw. And it's good to go. Easy peasy. Now let's get it outside and see exactly what it'll do. Okay, I called my neighbor up and asked him, could I borrow his pool? <laughs> He's over there cutting grass. It's a little windy out here. I hope y'all overlooked that. And uh, basically it just goes forward, reverse, spins around like a tank. Pretty awesome. And then we're gonna try to run it off in the pool, see how it does. <laughs> Check it out, it just turns around. This would be awesome for a kid if you had a pool. See, it does pretty good. It's got a headwind right now. See, once you get the wind at the back, it does pretty good. 
as you can tell it has proportional steering in other words when it steers it's basically just locking down one side you can see it's not locking it down it's just not sending no power to it Well, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. There will be affiliate links in the description, which gives me a percentage of the sale, but it doesn't cost you a dime extra. It just gives me a little bit for sending you to the, the, their way. And also help pays for my production costs of uh, making videos. Thank you and I have you, hope you have a nice day.